Okay there, Waste of Central 616 but again, some more comic reviews and uh, this video is going to be a Wolverine special um, with uh, uh, Dark Wolverine 86, uh, Wolverine Origins 48, uh, Wolverine Weapon X 13. Uh, there's just not enough X Men uh, Wolverine titles out there, out there, is there? Okay, now, these two issues. Uh, the final parts of all of this Romulus storyline, this big build up, um, basically what the Wolverine Origins um, title has all been about. Um, it's a mixed bag. Um, let's start with Dark Wolverine, okay? Um, it's, it's a decent enough issue, you know, um, pretty good artwork. Uh, Daniel Way and um, Majori Lou, you know, you know, it's it's well written. It's pretty much a fight, a fight, um, fight book, a fight, fight, fight book. Um, some good action here. Wolverine fighting Dakin, um, um, Scar fighting Romulus. Um, Scar's, you know, it's a cool addition to the book. Um, and then there's some interaction between Romulus and. Um, Taken, which is, is quite interesting, we get a bit of an insight into Taken and we kind of see why, the real reason why he hates Romulus and it, it, it's interesting, it adds more to the character of Taken, you know, it, it's not that bad um, and we get, we get a little bit of history of Romulus, he talks about how he was worshipped by cavemen um, but I want to go sort of into that a bit later um, and Spoiler alert, they can kind of betrays Romulus, but he gets tele Romulus gets teleported away um, by the end of it, and basically leads straight into this where Wolverine's got Romulus at his mercy, and um, once again, spoiler alert, he chooses not to kill him, he leaves him in this dark dimension, so there's room for him to return, but that's pretty much the end of Romulus. Um, Wolverine kind of puts to bed some demons of his, and it is actually it's done. It is actually done quite well um, by Danny Way. You know, it's, yeah, it is. It's it's not bad. You know, it's kind of some heartfelt bits in it. Um, you do actually feel like Wolverine's coming to some kind of epiphany. It, it does work. Um, and then it leads into a fight between Wolverine and Dakin, and it's kind of it's putting it all to bed. This you know this this thing between them, um, and yeah, it's done really well. Um, the fight may be a little bit short lived, and um, the way it kind of ends quite interesting is to do with Wolverine. This this sword, which Wolverine it was a magically crafted sword from Wolverine, sort of emotional rage and the emotions both the characters use while wielding the weapon because um, Dakin's got metal in his claws, it kind of counteracts and there's a bit of magic in there, mm, reasonably interesting and um, basically Wolverine does what he has, has to do with Dakin and um, it's all kind of concluded, you know, no more Romulus and um, so Wolverine's not trying to f save Dakin anymore, he's kind of done what he needs to do. Um, and in a way, it did come in, it has kind of worked. But, and the big but, it was so, and the, yeah, the fight was, was pretty well, and the art's nice in this. But, there's been such a big build up. I mean, this whole Wolverine Origins thing was pretty much about Romulus, this whole storyline. With some cool little bits here and there, you know, and it really did interfere with Wolverine's origin, you know. Um, took a few liberties with it, and I just think, was it worth it, you know? And yeah, I mean, this was a reasonably satisfying conclusion, um, you know, and it just seemed like Wolverine's come to a certain stage in his character, you know, which is, it, it has been interesting, but 
you know, Sabretooth was killed off because of this one of Wolverine's key characters. Um, and I always found it quite hard to believe that this Roman's character was manipulating Wolverine's history for such a long time. And also, it still, it still hasn't been established. What was Romulus's empire? What was this, this, did he secretly run crime? What, did he run a country? What, what? It wasn't explained. What did Dakin want to inherit? It was a key part of the story, it was never explained, so it was really frustrating. And ultimately, you know, these weren't bad issues, they were pretty good, you know? But, such a big build up. I don't think the storyline was worth it in the end, really. Um, and I'm glad it's over. And now we can sort of get on with other Wolverine stories. Which leads me to Wolverine Weapon X, written by Jason Aaron, artwork by Ron Garney. This was brilliant. This is more like it. This is what a Wolverine story should be. Um, you know, <laughs> not um, too deep or anything like that, just a really fun, action-packed Wolverine story of him interacting with the rest of the Marvel Universe. We get to see um, the new, new Avengers. Um, him fighting alongside the new Captain America, Steve Rogers is in this. Um, there's some cool concepts in there. A lot is borrowed from Terminator. I mean, a lot, but it doesn't matter too much, it's just a fun issue, um, and there's some really fun, cool ideas thrown in there, there's a future version of Spider-Man, um, which is interesting, a lot of fun, and there's an interesting concept here that when the uh, Death Ox, um kill a character in the future, they no longer see them as a threat in the past, which I thought was, was quite interesting. Um, so yeah, this is a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's just building up this new Deathlock character. I mean, a lot of this is kind of just introducing the character. Um, I didn't read the miniseries that they're sort of doing with, uh, with the character, but um, and I'm not sure whether it's related, but yeah. This was a lot of fun. I really recommend this. I really recommend this arc. Jason Aaron knows how to do Wolverine. Um, a few hiccups along the way with it. Uh, with this uh, Wolverine issue so far, but this has been a, a lot of fun, so um, I really recommend this. Um, so yeah, brilliant artwork as well. It's really cool to see the, the Wolverine fight along lot of these Avengers, and um, a little bit bloodthirsty of me, um, but in cool Wolverine fashion, as <laughs> he takes out Deathlock in a really cool way. Um, quite cool decapitation scene, so, you know, guilty pleasure, you know, um, but yeah, this, this was a lot of fun, really recommend this, but cool, see you later guys.